Greetings YouTube, GDoc here. There are a ton of different medical signs for your body to signal diseases or conditions. Most of them make sense in some way, like turning yellow because you have elevated levels of the yellow substance known as bilirubin in your blood, or that you fall asleep during medical school class. But some signs don't seem to make the same kind of logical sense. Today we'll take a brief look at one such sign, known as Frank sign. Could a crease on your earlobe actually have an association with heart disease? In 1973, Dr. Sanders T. Frank first published a letter in the New England Journal of Medicine describing heart disease patients with diagonal earlobe creases and pointed to a possible association between the two. Though this first study wasn't very solid, as it for instance lacked a control group. Since then, numerous studies have been conducted to look at this possible association. At first, the medical community thought that this sign was only associated with heart disease because it was really associated with the presence of other risk factors, like if smoking caused Frank's sign in addition to heart disease. One large Danish study from 2014 followed almost 11,000 Danes over a period of 35 years. All participants were heart disease free at the beginning of the study. This study showed that having a diagonal earlobe crease was significantly associated with an increased risk of developing heart disease, independent from other risk factors. As for the reason why Frank sign is a risk factor for heart disease, we don't really know. But some theories suggest that the processes that cause aging of the cells and tissues, which could also affect the heart, are the same that cause earlobe creases, as they aren't really seen in children. Frank sign could be useful as a clinical sign to identify high-risk patients but it's nowhere close to being a statistically good test. So if you have an earlobe crease, don't panic. Or at least, try not to. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe for more content on medicine and science.